Good morning, everybody, on this Friday, May 15th. And I am so happy that it's Friday. Friday, 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 my favorite day of the week. Um, I guess Saturday is probably my favorite day of the week. <laughs> it is going to be absolutely gorgeous today. At least that's the, the expectation is probably the best word for it. It's supposed to be in the 80s um, today. So um, it's going to be really, really nice, I think. Um, but for now, it's 9.45 in the morning. My hair is doing some wonky, wavy, curly thing over here. I don't know what that's doing, but whatever. Um, I have, I was going to do a foundation review today. I actually have it all like pulled out and ready to go. And I was in the middle of some serious um, dreams this morning. And I was just having a really hard time getting like up out of bed. Like when my alarm went off, I was like in a deep, deep sleep. And I was having a dream that I was staying in a hotel along Lake Erie. I don't know why it was Lake Erie, but that was like stuck in my head, like clear as day that it was Lake Erie. And we were going to be in one room and they were like, well, we're going to move you into this other room. And I said, before I accept that, I want to see the room. So we're walking around the entire hotel because it's like the hotel's packed and we're walking around the whole hotel and they, the person brings us to this new room and it was like crazy because like the wind there was windows in the room and the water was running like it was a river not a lake now i've been to lake erie there are waves in lake erie but it was like running like it was a river and it was like a corner room so you had windows on two sides and the water was like within like six inches of the windows, <laughs> almost like the room was almost like under the water. And the one at, just as my alarm went off, the one I stepped on like the one part of the floor and it felt like it was like giving way. <laughs> so it was so weird because it was almost like the, the rushing, rushing water of Lake Erie <laughs> and like, taken the foundation out from underneath the room and it was like slowly like dissipating underneath you it was really really it was really weird because i was like hey come here look at this like is this safe and my alarm went off and it like my alarm started going off and i was like in the dream and i was like really like it's i struggled to get out of the dream anyway i thought that was funny and then i kept falling back asleep and getting back into dreams i don't remember going back into that dream in particular but i can't remember the other dreams does that make sense? Um, anyhow, it is Friday. There's a woman walking a dog in the cul-de-sac. Hopefully our dogs don't see it. Otherwise they're going to go uh, bat poop crazy um, and start barking. Um, and John's still on his, on his morning lesson. Um, anyway, it's Friday. I have a 1030 meeting, an 11 o'clock meeting, and do I have any other meetings? 10:30, 11, and technically I have a 12 o'clock. That's supposed to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I haven't called into it either on Monday or Wednesday. Yeah, I also did not get a meeting invite that I was told yesterday that I was going to get. So there's that. Um, anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, they're sorry I'm looking at an email for work I don't know why I'm bothering to do that I shouldn't be doing that I should be talking to you guys <laughs> actually I should probably put the camera down and do work but anyway I am wrapping up the second of well three contracts today one is right here in front of me we're gonna work I'm trying to make it more clean more um, understandable um I got to call my coworker because she gave me some recommendations, but I want to make sure that I'm understanding what she's recommending before I make some, some of those edits. And then that one will be ready to go. And then we have a meeting at the, my 1030 meeting is to finalize the second contract. So that will be ready to go. And then I think I'm going to be able to get the third one done today. 
and I'll just be the fourth one because I need some answers yeah it's gonna be gorgeous out today that is what my mind is stuck on like I'm actually considered taking the afternoon off because I have no meetings this afternoon I'm considering taking the afternoon off just so I can go outside now it's not pretty can you guys even see it's kind of overcast it's kind of ugly um, it did rain overnight um, but there is hope that the Sun will be coming out like I said it's supposed to get really warm and the chance of rain is only supposed to be about, uh, about 10 to 20 percent all day long so I'm hopeful that it's a beautiful day I already ate breakfast and I'm hungry I shouldn't be hungry but I am and it's very annoying uh, I had two hard-boiled eggs and I had a yogurt for breakfast so I had about 300 calories um, I think it was like 314 something along those lines I'm also gonna take my blood sugar this morning um, just to be sure 315 I ate 315 calories for breakfast um, so yeah anywho uh, anyone ever order anything directly from Urban Decay anybody anybody Urban Decay had some ads on Facebook that their naked honey palette was 50% off last week and I had wanted to buy that like that was one of the pal like I I have that sit actually probably still is sitting in my cart um because I was gonna buy it the next time that Ulta had a 20% off coupon and they had it at 50% off and I got an email last Friday saying we're preparing your order you'll get an email when it ships it's been a whole week I have not gotten an order or an email saying that it has shipped now granted I don't know maybe Urban Decay ships from California and I know that California was having issues um like I know Colourpop completely suspended their like they were taking orders but they couldn't ship anything uh because Colourpop's in California and I know that that was an issue that they had so I don't know where Urban Decay is located out of. I've never ordered from Urban Decay before. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pass up the Urban Decay palette, honey palette specifically at 50% off. Um, that's pretty cool. So, anywho, I'm rambling on this Friday morning. I'm just happy it's Friday. Are you happy it's Friday? <laughs> I'm happy it's Friday. I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. Actually, I got to make the vlog live, the Wednesday's vlog. It's uploaded. I just have to make it live. I had... I didn't make it live I started uploading it last night but I didn't make it live so I gotta make it live so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys later today bye all right you guys it is seven o'clock and I've already gone for an hour-long walk it was really really fun um, I went by myself because my brother decided to come over which was nice we haven't seen him in months so he came over uh, we got some good news my county is able to move to yellow starting next week um which is fantastic i'm so happy about that it's not much of a change to be honest uh stores are allowed to start opening up for like people to go into them restaurants are still closed which is really the most of what i do plus you still have to wear face masks anyway and i'm so i'm still not going to go into stores so it's not that like it's going to be that big of a change for me specifically for me specifically i'm just going to be honestly what it does for me is my day-to-day -day activities won't change but it gives me a little bit of a peace of mind in that things are moving does that make sense um yeah I, that's what it gives me a little bit of peace of mind of everything's quiet here right now because john and my brother and nicholas and my brother's girlfriend just left to go get burger king i'm having real good pizza for dinner and so is my brother's girlfriend we're gonna split this we're gonna split this and I'm gonna eat half she's gonna eat half but uh, John and um, Nicholas and my brother are gonna have Burger King for dinner so that's what's going down I didn't warn her that the pizzas were gonna like all melt off so there's that but anyway I'm kind of chilling because Burger King in my area is extremely slow like extremely slow you can sit in that drive through for over a half an hour that's common 
in today's world where there's nothing but drive through it might be even longer so i told john to give me a text message when they order because from the time you order to the time you check out should only maybe be about 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed you don't know these days um anyway that's 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 what i told him to do is let me know when they ordered so that i can throw the pizzas in because the pizzas especially now that they've been sitting out for like a couple minutes and they'll be sitting out for another like 15 minutes um they will only maybe take about 10 minutes to cook and the oven's already preheated so they won't take long to cook at all but best news was that i went for a walk um i didn't burn as many calories as i thought i was gonna burn but I did go, my walk was almost two miles. Um, not almost two miles, it was a mile and a half. Hold on. What does this say? Oh, total distance, three and a half miles. 3.3 .3 miles, so three and a third miles. 7,200 steps. Typically, on a day in and day out basis, I usually get about 3,000 to 5,000, usually three to 4,000 if I'm just walking around the house. So to get 7,400, it wasn't that the number of 7,400, I think it was. Um, to get those number of steps, that was actually pretty good. So I, I like doubled the normal steps that I take, so, or I usually take. So that's good. Um, but it's just me here with the dogs. We did turn the air conditioning on. It's a little warm in here, but that's probably because I've got the stove on. Yeah, but it was warm. Like it was already 80 degrees in here before we turned the air conditioning on, so. There's that. Anyway, it's just me and the dogs. Um, I'm watching YouTube videos and I'm waiting for John to text me to let me know that he um, has ordered the Burger King. Um, yeah, but it says it's 73 in the house. That's what it's telling me, I think. Yep, 73. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I might edit a video. I don't know. They're playing board games. I'm not a big board game fan. Like I'll play some board games, but I'm not a huge board game fan. So I might, um, I might edit some videos. I might not. Oh, my plants. I want to show you my plants real quick because they are, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Carrot seeds, if you're not aware, because I was not. Carrot seeds are like minuscule like you drop one you'll never find it and you'll never be able to pick it up because you'll never find it so when i put them in there and because john had tried starting seeds before and none of them worked i was like well you know what i'm not gonna sit here and like count out how many seeds i'm putting in so i just threw a bunch in so that was kind of a mistake but let me show you our plants here we go so right here is this is the row of onions. I don't know why John stuck the pepper things over there, but this is the row of onions and they're all coming up. You can see we've got a bunch of onions coming up. Um, there's even a little one right there, but onions all along here. These are the peppers. So this one is, whoops, this one is the green bell pepper and this one is red cherry hot paprika pepper. That's what that one is. And this one is the better bell green bell pepper. So then that's that, that one. The onions are all coming up good, peppers. And then this one is our row of romaine. And even like the one there at the end, which we thought was dead, you could see the little dead leaves there. That one actually started to grow too. So we've got a whole bunch of romaine, which is coming in, which is fantastic. This one is our beef steak. That one is our Roma. They're growing pretty well too. But the most exciting one is this one over here because this is the one we grew from seeds and we weren't sure how it was gonna go. But we've got, these are green beans. We've got two green beans popping here. Now the green beans I did count. I think I put six green beans in. So there's two on this end, there's none down the center, and then there's two over here. But like, look at that little guy, right? Like he's like really growing pretty good. And then I put carrots on both sides. So I've got little carrots sprouting like everywhere. John was like, we're gonna have to pull some of those out because you just got way too many. Um, and they're all too close together but i didn't know i mean i just assumed because of the mistakes like we didn't do mistakes but like john's didn't grow the seeds that he planted didn't grow so that's why i just threw a bunch in there like that whole cluster right there we're probably gonna have to thin that out we got several coming up over here and that's all just within like the last day so the bean green beans this one popped first and that one is obviously a head um what's funny is is that the little green right here that's the first um 
carrot that popped up, but it's fallen behind. A lot of the other little carrots are growing faster. Oh, look, there's one little one there too. There, the, a lot of the other carrots are growing, you know, faster than the first one that popped. So we're gonna have to thin out the carrots. I was like, oh no, they're gonna grow into like, you know, monster carrots. They're all gonna grow together. There's gonna be one huge carrot. And John's like, that's not how this works. So we're probably gonna have to thin that out or something, I don't know. I don't know how to grow carrots, but I'm just really happy that the green beans are popping. We've got four, and like I said, I think I put like six or eight beans in, so it'll be somewhere around there. Um, I'm really happy about the romaine here. This one, because the little leaves, this like this little leaves dead, that little leaves dead, but these ones are coming in strong. And I was a little worried about that one because when I pulled it out of the little six pack, um, it didn't seem to have any roots. So that one I'm really excited about. Is it weird that I'm excited about vegetables? <laughs> yeah, I like romaine lettuce. I like tomatoes. Um, John likes to cook with onions and peppers. He likes to eat just green, like he'll just eat green bell peppers. I love green beans and carrots. You know, I like carrots, but they're not like the be all to end all for me. The dogs like them though, and so does Nicholas. So I'm like super excited about that. I'm super excited about that. Anyway, tomorrow we're taking a road trip. We're gonna go to Maryland, so that's gonna be fun. So that's it for now. The girls are just sitting here waiting for people to come in. They're just chilling. So anyway, that's where we're at at 7. 10 in the evening, 7, 8, 7, 8, something like that. Um, so, I will see you guys later tonight. Bye. All right, y'all, I am about to pass out. I'm very, very tired. It's 1040, meal's home, my brother's gone. All in all, it was a good day. I'm really, really pleased with going for the walk that I did because I didn't need to do that, you know? I mean, my brother was over, my... And his girlfriend were over. I could have easily been like, oh, I don't need to go on a walk. You know, I'm just going to spend time with my brother. I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. I'm really proud of myself for doing that. Um, 8,000 steps. Technically, yeah, 8,042 steps. <laughs> I was going to say it's 7,986, but it's 8,042. So, oh, that's interesting. So it actually, so I have um nike run club on my watch and i actually started it today while i was walking i was already partially walking before i started it um actually i'll show you so if you can see my end dot right there let's see if i can hold it up my end dot right there i actually walked from there to there before I started it and then I walked down and then back up and around and around and then back to the car so from there to there I did not have my exercise turned on yeah so anyway so I didn't walk you know I didn't um, I don't have all of my walking actually well, it counted towards my steps, but not towards that exercise. Anyway. <sighs> I'm sleepy. I'm ready for bed. Um, I was going to look at my calories. Actually, let me look at my calories that I burned today. Um... Active energy, I, lost, I burned 700 calories and resting energy was 2,000 calories. So 2,700 calories today. Although I think I ate more than that because I had ice cream tonight. So, yeah. I'm probably going to gain weight tomorrow. I wish that wasn't the case, but I probably am going to. Anyway. That's it for today. I got... Good news is I got two videos edited. I got yesterday's vlog edited, which is uploading now, and I got Monday's um, Omni Z video edited, which I'll upload tomorrow. I am gonna try to do a foundation review tomorrow since we're gonna be driving and doing our road trip to Maryland. I figured, you know, it'd be a good time to uh, put some makeup on. So 
I'm gonna, my alarm's set for 7.30. My goal is to get up, put some makeup on my face, eat, and then get on the road. So I expect to get on the road probably by maybe 10.30ish. That's gonna be the goal. 7.30, get up, get in the shower. If I can get my makeup on by like nine, yeah. If I can have my makeup on by nine, um, I should be okay then to eat breakfast and still get on the road by 10.30. So brunch, brunch, so. Anyway, that's the plan. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. John's watching a movie. I think he said he's gonna finish the movie. So I'm probably just gonna pass out and whenever he comes to bed, he'll come to bed. So I have a pair of socks on. They're technically yoga socks and I don't know what they're made from, but these are the only socks that I own that pick up everything off the floor. So every single fuzzy, every single piece of hair, every single piece of dog hair, it picks them up like every like can you guys see that every fuzzy every dog hair every my hair sorry if that's gross i should have thought of that before showing me my foot anyway these are the only socks that do that and you know we've got two dogs so we've got dog hair everywhere and they have a toy that sheds um, they have this big spider. I don't know if I've ever shown you it. This big spider that literally is, it's, it's bigger than Wednesday. And they love to take that thing and drag it around the house. And it leaves um, little furries everywhere, which is what a lot of the furries were that were on the bottom of my sock. Yeah, all those little fuzzies are from that big spider. So, sorry about that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Today, I am thankful that I went on a nice walk. I'm thankful that I went on, it was actually about two miles um, and it was nice and leisurely. It was beautiful out today. Absolutely beautiful. It was so gorgeous. Tomorrow's going to be nice too. It's not going to be quite as warm tomorrow, which is good actually. Um, and yeah, we're going to go down to Maryland for several hours and then we're going to come home and I'm probably going to exercise again tomorrow. I'm going to go for a walk again tomorrow, assuming it doesn't rain. Um, what's it say? It's, the lowest it's going to go is 62. And that's at 7 a.m. It's currently 76, at least according to the app. It's going to go down as far as 62 at 7 a.m. And then it's going to go right back up. And it's supposed to be 75 for a high tomorrow. So, not quite as warm as today. Today was in the 80s. Tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful. Sunday's supposed to be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to both days. So, tomorrow on tap is road trip to Maryland. Um, foundation review. And... Walk. I'm probably going to wait to go for a walk until I take my foundation off. Which is why I want to try to get that started early. Um... So I get, like I said, get my foundation on by nine and then I'd be able to take it off by like five. So I'd go for a walk after dinner. I think that's going to be the plan. We might just do burgers on the fire tomorrow too. So I don't know. We'll see. That's going to be it for today. I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm very encouraged that we're finally going to at least take one small step. Like I said, not a huge step for me because I can't go into any stores, but a small step back to normal. I'm going to very much appreciate that. And it's six weeks till our vacation. <laughs> Hopefully everything turns out okay. I've been looking at the website for Ocean City, New Jersey to see if they've posted anything um, they've been doing a fairly decent job of keeping things up to date, but... Oh, there is an update. I have to read it. I gotta read it. Uh, I'm not gonna read it now. I'm gonna say goodnight to you all, and I will... Uh, I will read that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.